Hi guys, I'm Madison Booth, and today I am going to show you how to make a Corona Rita or a beer Rita. Um, you know those margaritas that you can get at the restaurants where they have that Corona sticking out of them? Um, so they're really, really good, and I feel like they're really popular um, because it's summer. You can use a shaker if you want to make your margarita on the rocks, but ours is going to be frozen. So first of all, after you cut your limes, um, you're going to take you know this little wedge of lime and you're gonna kind of rub it all around the edge of the glass. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna get your salt to stick on the glass. Um, so now take your plate of salt, your glass, put it upside down, twist it around. Um, you can kinda, you know, get the salt on one side if you want. All right, so now we have a decently salted glass. All right, so we're gonna stick that lime on there. Now we're gonna actually make the margarita. So get your blender here. Now a single drink has about 1.25 ounces of alcohol in it. Um, you can use a jigger, which is this little funny looking thing. Um, it measures the amount of alcohol that you pour into a drink. And you can use this, or if you know how to free pour and count um, the ounces as you go, you can do that. So we're gonna put 1.25 ounces of this salsa. Next, we're gonna put our margarita mix. All right. Next, we are going to take our orange. All right, so we're gonna use half an orange, um, but it's easier to squeeze if you cut that one in half. Squeeze all that in there. Okay, we are going to put some ice in here. So, let's see. Um, just wait and see how it comes out and then you can add more if you need to. All right, something that is kind of a secret ingredient is um, just actually water. We're gonna pour a little bit of water in there. I'm just gonna help it blend easier. All right, stick your top back on. Now we are actually going to blend it. Go ahead and take that off. Pour it into your margarita glass. And you actually don't want it to reach the top because you are about to put this Corona in there and part of it will spill out. Um, so as you can see, this is not all the way full. Um, but now you need to open up your Corona Rita. Take one of these handy dandy Corona Extra holders. So on the count of three, we're gonna put this Corona in here for the finished product. One, two, three. Ta-da!